Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So as a developer, you're usually told to automate repetitive tasks that you do frequently. So today we'll be automating Tinder swiping. So to get started, the first thing I did was go into Tinder and just press F12 and look at their APIs, their network calls that they do. They might try to trick you by having way too many calls and being super inefficient, but uh, I was finally able to get the APIs to see what happens when you swipe right, when you swipe left, and how do you get the potential matches. So um, I already did all this work, so we're gonna skip that. And I'm just gonna go over a little bit about how like the potential matches thing comes up. Um, I already created the, the model for it. So if you see here, it, it goes through. It's a pretty big model because they sent way too much data, way more than they should. Um, so let's just go over the JSON where I got the information from. So the first thing you get is you get an array of results, which is the array of potential matches that you, you might have. Then you get the rec type. So promote, promote it underscore ML. It's usually someone that already swiped right on you. Then there is regular user. Uh, that's just a regular user. And then there is newbie. So they actually send you whether or not that person is new. They don't show it anywhere in the app. So if you want to be creepy like that, you can like use that or something. Um, but then after that, it tells you the information about the user. It tells you the user ID, which I blocked out here because it's a random user. It tells you their bio. Then it gives you an array of their photos um, that if we actually open up, it's just uh, a URLs to where to get the photos from, from their CDN. Um, and then you have gender, their job title and their actual job title, it's called one, two. Then they tell you whether it's traveling, uh, whether they have the hidden the gender thing, whether they hide their age, hide their distance. If they have a custom gender, which actually this person did, uh, it shows you the, their custom uh, gender. Then they have Facebook and it's supposed to tell you like uh, common connections and stuff. I actually tested it with a friend that we're friends on Facebook and we have zero common connections apparently. Um, so there's that. And then Spotify tells you the album and stuff they like, tells you the distance. And then this is the swipe number. So that's what they actually, you have to send when you're liking or disliking. So you send the user ID and the swipe number so they know who is swiping what. And then this is like what it shows actually in the card when you're seeing the person. And then this one experiment info, it's the things you select that like your interests, but they don't show them to you. So I don't know what they're using this experiment for, but like it sh it's, they send it to the user, but they don't display it anywhere. And then it's super like upsell. That's like the new thing that it says like, oh, you just like the per uh, popular person. So if this is true, uh, the app will show you like, hey, you just like the popular person. Do you want to make it a super like? So that's kind of like the information that is the next one, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's see what we did. So I have the main program that just takes in the token, uh, your authentication token. And I created an HTTP service that actually mimics the headers that Tinder sends. Um, but we have already covered HTTP services before. It uses poly and everything for retry. We don't want to miss on one match just because there was a uh, an error, like a gateway error or something. So. Uh, first, we get the people, so that's like we call the API to, to get the potential matches, then we create a random variable, then we do a while true, so like this is where we keep swiping. Well, it's not a while true, well, we still have potential matches. We grab the first match, and then we do a swipe. So if we go to go implementation, uh, I check, do I swipe right? And if I say yes, and here I check. So first I'm checking promoted ML. If they already be swiped on me, why not? Who am I to tell them now? Then there is, is boring bio. So this one, I just went ahead and created it. In this video, we're doing just bio-based. Uh, so if it's empty or if it contains Instagram or Snap or something, or like swipe because surely it's like, oh, swipe left if blah, blah, blah. So we just swipe left right away. Never here. That's surely usually a bot as well. Not here for a long time. I just hate that that bio. Like not here for a long time. Here for a good time. Blah blah blah. 
So those are the ones I did. If you can do it as any, it's just a string compare. So if that happens, we swipe left. If the user has less than two pictures, we swipe left. Uh, if the user is traveling, we swipe left, else we swipe right. So in the next video, we'll actually use ML. So make sure to subscribe to see how we use ML to actually see the pictures and do stuff like that. Today it's kind of basic. Um, but other than that, we then, we then, after we swipe for one, we sleep. This is good to give your processor time to sleep and like recuperate, you know, you don't, you're not the same if you don't sleep or just because you don't want Tinder to think you're a bot. So you uh, sleep between one and three seconds. And then if you run out of people, you get more people. And if there is no more people, the program finishes. So that's about it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and let's just run it. So as you can see, I just did the let's swipe and that, we're just going to step through it a little bit just so we know. So in here we can see we already got the people. So if I go here to variables, we can see people, data, results, and we have 15 potential new matches. So we're going to go in. We're going to get the current user that we're swiping on. And then we're going to go into the swipe. So in here, we're going to go into do we swipe right and we're going to see where it goes. So usually the first one is promoted ML just because they usually give you a swipe right at the beginning. So this is going to be true. So we're going to send a like. And in here, you have to send the S number. As I said, I didn't want to make it like a whole model and everything. So I just did the text instead of actually doing like a thing and serializing it and stuff, just being lazy. And we get the result and we say, see that it's a match. So we just continue and we write to the console, we got a match. So if we see the actual console, it's going to say, we got a match. And then we're going to sleep and we're going to repeat it. So I'm just going to put a, a breakpoint here so we can see each time where it goes. So it's no longer promoted. So now we're going to see if it's a boring bio, we're going to go in and it's an empty bio. So we're going to return false and we're going to swipe left. So this is how you swipe automatically with Tinder. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.